All right, so we're finishing up, we're wrapping up the end of this. Everything is all dried into its place. So now all I've got to do is start dyeing it. So what I have is some pieces of wool. Wool helps to kind of distribute that evenly. I'm going to want to get all inside of there and everything else, which will be easy to do. My little dauber, my swab here. So here goes nothing. I'm going to go ahead and start with the inside. Make sure I get everything. And this needs to be a uniform color. Some of some spots of the leather will suck the dye up more than others. And some won't. So some spots will look darker than others. And when that happens, then I'll just need to re-dye it to make sure all the color gets where it needs to go. So it's starting to get the dye all in there. Gotta zoom out for ya. So I know everything's just gonna be in the way. What you want to do when you start applying the dye is make little small circles. And that will help to make sure that the dye distributes evenly. You can see already how some spots are darker than others. So those spots I will have to go back over. And the dye will not stick to the metal so when everything all dries off, I apply some oil. All that dye on the on the metallic parts will all come off. That's turning into a nice chocolate color. I'm liking that. Make sure I get the edges. And I will have to be going back over the edges once I get the edges re-cleaned up and all that good stuff. So this is how I'm just going to start applying the dye and uh, we'll come back when this first coat is all dry and we'll see if there's any spots that I need to re-go over and I'll do that at that time and uh, that's how I'm starting to finish up the, the project. Alright, see you back later.